All right, YouTubers, I've got a special treat for you today, um, and that is what's behind that white door. <clears throat> so if you've seen my other videos, you know that we live on a lake, and uh, it's a pretty special property. And when I built the house, I wanted to do something uh, special inside the house. And what you're going to see behind this door is uh, one of the things I'm most proud of. Now I can't say that uh, I did it all on my own, but uh, I did a, a good portion of it and I will uh, give credit where credit is due, but let's go ahead and see what's behind the door. All right, this is affectionately known in our house as the boiler room. Um, it is, in my opinion, a work of art. Um, so I'm gonna take you through what we have here for our in-floor heating system and uh, <clears throat> let you see how we did it. So let's start with the power plant. So this is a Polaris dual function water heater. Uh, it is a highly, highly efficient model. Um, basically what it's going to do is it's got a series of uh, circular tubes in there and as the the heat comes off, uh, it goes through those tubes and by the time it comes out, it's uh, exhausted through just simple PVC pipe. But uh, what's special about this water heater is aside from the standard domestic uh, water that you, you send to your taps and your showers and so forth, it's got a, an additional set of uh, inlet and outlet here. And uh, I'm going to show you how this works. So basically, when the system calls for heat, it's going to trigger this pump behind here. And it's going to send the hot water up to this heat transfer plate. Basically, it's going to flow the water through there. And inside there are a bunch of copper plates that transfer the heat uh, into a closed loop system that is then used to heat uh, all of my circuits that I have heating the house. So uh, let's take you over to that. So, uh, so there's the brains of the operation up there. That's what all my thermostats are linked into. I've got, uh, let's see, nine thermostats in total. That includes upper garage, lower garage, uh, upstairs bedrooms, uh, main living area, laundry room, uh, so on and so forth <clears throat> and I've got two sets of manifolds so there's one and you've got your ins and your outs all of your loops and then there's uh, there's the second one not all of them are used as you can see I've got uh, one two looks like three open on this manifold and on this manifold up here they're all they're all used um, basically what happens is uh, on the bottom here I pointed out these are all uh, automatic uh, valve openers so again you see this one here I've got labeled as number eight that one is open which means uh, the pump is pumping water and only that circuit is going to have water flowing through it uh, in a high demand situation you'll have multiple circuits open uh, but that's okay this isn't a high pressure system in fact, I'm going to take you over here and show you just what our pressure is. So you can see there it's about uh, 12 PSI. And uh, you can see the temperature there. I can get this to focus. It's, uh, it's about 120 degrees flowing through the pipes. Of course, by the time it comes back in, so here's, uh, well, there, that's going out. By the time it comes back in, I don't think I have a, Temperature gauge for that. Oh, yes, I do. If I go down here, by the time it comes back in, I don't know if you can read that or not. It's about uh, about a little little over uh, 80 degrees. So that's the heat loss as it goes through the system. Now, I do want to point out a couple of uh, organizations that uh, help me with this. First one here is I've got the manual. So this is a company called RadiantDesignInstitute.com. And the owner of that is uh, Fred Seaton. 
Uh, Fred has got uh, decades worth of experience um, designing and installing these uh, uh, radiant heat systems. And uh, I, I contacted Fred, uh, sent him my house design, and uh, within a short time period, I had uh, this entire manual sent to me uh, with a, a full layout of uh, the runs and uh, how to configure all of these manifolds that you see and so forth. Uh, what I like about Fred and appreciate about him is he's got a very simple design approach, well tested over time, and uh, he doesn't sell any of the products. He, he will recommend uh, places to buy them, but you're completely up to you. Uh, if you want to use a local contractor, uh, basically what he's selling is his design service. Um, so he's free to give opinions on the different uh, makes and models. One of the things that's maybe a little unique about this system, it's got a single pump that is uh, flowing this water, uh, heated water, through all of those loops. Now as you can see, the way this pump is connected, it's a fairly easy disconnect. Shut off that valve. Come over here. Shut off that valve. Loosen those uh, nuts and bolts. And that pump will come right off. Uh, switch out the wiring. And I could probably have a new pump in there. Oh, and maybe uh, 30 to 40 minutes, I would guess. Um, I do have a standby pump, just in case, since this is my primary heating source. But uh, that is an industrial pump. You can see it's made by a company called Taco. And uh, that thing has been worry-free uh, ever since I've been using it. So uh, uh, it's worked out just fine. Uh, now, I did not do all of this copper that you see here. I basically, I did all the lines, hooked up all the manifolds, um, kind of designed the layout. But I had uh, Lighthouse Plumbing here in western Michigan come and do all the, the copper work. Um, <clears throat> great company, great to work with. Uh, I personally know the one of the owners of the company and uh, uh, they do great work. Didn't have, didn't have any problems at all, no leaks. Uh, they pressure tested everything and uh, worked out great. I would highly, highly advise this type of a system uh, to anybody who's looking at building a house uh, even an outbuilding. Uh, I am going to put radiant floor heat when I build my outbuilding. I'll uh, be certain to shoot some video of that. But uh, this has been one of the most uh, comfortable uh, heating environments I've ever been in. Um, warm on your feet in the cold winters here in Michigan. And uh, just a, a great system. Uh, again, virtually maintenance free. Um, I think the only thing I've had to do is uh, if you come down here, there's a filter uh, inside of there. Uh, once every two or three years, I open that up, just clean out the filter, and that's any uh, anything that may be coming through the uh, fresh air uh, intake, whether it be uh, you know cotton seed from the cottonwood trees or, or things like that. But otherwise, uh, really maintenance free and. Uh, Again, great job by uh, Fred Seaton there on the design. Really easy to follow. And then uh, the work of art with all the plumbing there, uh, Lighthouse Plumbing here in Western Michigan. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, just a quick little tour. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Um, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. That's always helpful. And uh, I'll be sure to keep the videos coming. Take care.